Never been this excited for a game. Oh my god. Oh, look at it. New run. This shit's 15 bucks. Hey, hey, don't leave, bro. Oh, wait, I can double? Okay, let me explain this game a little bit. Uh, let me also move my cam. I think this is probably better. I would assume. Let me also... Uh, actually, volume's okay. Volume, good, bad. I don't know. Um... So this is a deck building roguelike. If you have no idea what the fuck I just said, this is a deck of cards. That's my deck, right? Pretty normal. It, it's actually very normal. Uh, roguelike is basically once you lose, you restart your run. Um, you can kind of change these to get better cards or try to get specific hands that you want. Like, potentially I can turn this two of spades into an ace of spades, right? And then I have two ace of spades and no two of spades. So you can kind of fuck with your deck. You can add cards. There's like, I, I guess I'd call them like power-ups is an easy way to explain it. Um, and your goal is when you play one of these hands, you're going to get like a score, essentially. Uh, the red one is a multiplier. The blue one is a points system, essentially. So if I played a straight flush, I would instantly, no matter what, get 800 points. Um, but it also counts points of the cards I play. An ace is 11 points, face cards are 10, I believe, and then 9, 8, 7, 6, just like that. And then you have ways to increase your multiplier as well. If I flip my cam horizontally, the mic cutting off. Yeah, but then I would look weird. You guys are going to think this is weird. Oh, God. It's like I'm a new person, no? Isn't that weird? Okay. <laughs> oh, God, no. Okay, okay. We, we can keep it. We can keep it. Wait, oh, sorry, I was turning it down. When you guys said... When you guys said turn it down, were you being sarcastic? I was only reading it as sarcasm. Is that... Did you actually want it up? No, we were for real, just a little bit down. We were serious. I, I'm confused, so you want it up? Okay, whatever, we're gonna deal with that. We're gonna do that. Sure. Um, okay, so also when you play... Okay, you can see I have four hands and I have discards as well. So discards, basically, I can choose cards to get rid of. If I play a hand, uh, that's the hand I'm going to play. <clears throat> um, it's good there? Okay, yeah, it looks it looks fine on OBS. If you guys actually um, can't see either of my hands... Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, my bad. It's right here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not me. It wasn't me. I swear. Um, basically, I'm trying to beat 300 score on this one. And then 450 on this one, 600 on this one. Uh, I can also skip to get a reward. This one's actually very good. So I can get a double tag, which means I get double of the next one that I skip. Um, so I'm just going to do that. It's actually pretty good. Because if I get a juicer, I mean, it's going to fucking juice, you know? So now I have to beat 450 chips on this one. I'm not going to skip. Um, I have... If you also don't know how to play poker, I'm not going to really explain it because poker's a... Uh, Kind of a lot to explain. I mean, it's not that much, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to explain it. But basically, look, I have a straight, or I, I don't have a straight, but I almost have a straight, so I'm going to play for a straight. I'm going to hope for a 10. Um, here, wait, is my... Oh, my hand size is 8. I didn't get it, but I have a 2 pair now. And a 2 pair is decent, so I'm going to play that. I'm also going to play this 4, just to get rid of it. Um, it's not going to count for anything, but the 2 pair will be decent. You can see it's adding points, so it's 40 times, uh, what is it? The two pair was two. It was... Wait, I got 120, though. I don't remember. I don't know how I did the math. Oh, it was 40 plus 20, because that's the base, and then... Yeah. Uh, I also have a flush here. So flush is all the same suit, and this one should, once it adds the points, it should actually surpass it. Should be good. Maybe? No, I just didn't do math right. You actually want to finish these uh, as quickly, or in as, as little hands as possible. 
Uh, this looks dumb, but I, I looked at my deck. I actually have more hearts in my deck than I do spades. I have a couple discards, so it probably doesn't even matter, but I'm going to play for the flush. And we're good. So now you can see how I get money. So I beat that, so I got $4. I think it's $4 every time. I also had one hand left to play. So usually you want to just try to rip rip discards at the beginning to get the best hand possible and then just win in one hand which is is possible but now i'm gonna get five bucks and we're going to the shop baby and there's also um when i was playing this before oh, i can't see it when i was playing this before there was i played the demo and i looked at it there was 175 joker cards that i had not seen because they're only in the full game so there's gonna be a bunch of new stuff that i'm about to read Earn $5 if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time. That's pretty interesting. But... What is this one? I don't have enough money, but... All cards and packs and shops are 25% off. That's huge, actually. This one, I get one of three playing cards. Or planet cards. Planet cards are interesting. I will probably show those later. Ace, thank you so much for the 25 months. I don't think I want that now. I feel like I want this one. But uh, Joker cards are permanent. Yeah, so if I buy this, which I actually might buy this, um, and then play for straights to get tarot cards. But if I buy this, it goes up here, so I can have five of them. And they just stay up here. So I guess some of them are not permanent, but, you know, they're very specific. They just do as they read. Um, so I think I actually might buy this. Keep five bucks. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, the planet cards. Planet cards are interesting because it upgrades these. So, like, you see, this is level one. If you get a planet card, then, like, I can upgrade my flush. And I don't know for sure, but it, it'll probably upgrade it to, like, I get 45 points. And a multiplier is now five. So, like, the level up is significant because it increases the multiplier. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to play this. Or buy this. And I'm just going to go straight into the next round. This is also the boss round. Uh, cards played previously this ante are debuffed. Oh, I'll, oh, I actually might have fucked up. So debuff is kind of nuts. I have a flush right off the bat here, which is kind of nutty. So I'm going to play this. So these, since this card was played in the last one that I played, uh, versus the last opponent or whatever, uh, these are now debuffed and these give me no points. So I can still play them. Like I can play this. But I'm not going to get 10 points for it. Whereas if I played this, I would get 3 points. So I'm actually going to get rid of this. Take the 3 points on the flush. And then play it. So give me my points. It's like 280, yeah. And then I'm probably going to get rid of... Th oh, actually, wow. Uh, this is interesting. 5 and 4. I could look for a 5 and 4 and play an ace. Because I have this, and if I play a straight, straights go both ways, by the way. Um, so like top side and bottom side. So you can go like ace two three four, or ace king queen. Um, but now I'm thinking like, if I discard the, and I need that one. Like, what are the odds I actually get that? It's pretty damn low. Same, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always think, dude. I, every time I say, like, goes both ways, I think of a Family Guy quote every single time. Um, I don't even know if it's from poker or whatever. He says something about it goes both ways or whatever. And then some guy goes, yeah, like a bisexual. <laughs> and every time I say goes both ways, I think of that quote. It's just stuck in my head. I don't even watch Family Guy a lot. Okay. Hold on, let me think about this. Got distracted. I could also just play a two pair, but then I probably have like such a low chance of playing a straight. And I don't think that two pair is going to be good. It's like, what, 22, 22, 4, 6, 6, 46, 46 times two. That's going to be my points for the two pair. And I, I, I just don't think that's worth it. When I, I have four discards left as well. So I feel like I might as well use one. I think I keep the three, which sucks. It's, you can discard up to five cards. What, what I'm wondering is, do I get rid of these to try to go for the 4 and 5? 
Get rid of the pairs. Maybe I keep the ace. Get rid of one of the twos. I think that might be the play. Because playing twos are pretty shit anyway. But I keep the ace for the sake of the pair. I think I do that. Also... Yeah, I guess I keep the club. No, uh, there's a lot more clubs in here. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm overthinking. I have a lot of discards left. This shouldn't be that hard. Okay, I got the six again. Uh, now I have a th uh, t uh, what is it? full house. Unfortunately, these cards are deactivated, but it's probably worth it to play because I still get, um, what is that? It's 33, 73. Did I do that math right? 73. So it's like 290 points. I, that's worth, that's worth the play. And then I should just be like a pair off. Yeah. So sevens and sixes. Uh, this should be enough. Two pair, four. Yeah, we're guaranteed. All right. So we got this. We didn't get the straight, unfortunately. So we didn't get a tarot card, but we defeated the noob. Now we have $9, I think. No, nope, we have uh, 11. There's also interest that you can earn. You can earn a max of five, but there are ways to increase that. So the more money you hold, the more you end up getting. Uh, sell this card to disable the current boss blind. That's interesting. Oh, so somebody was saying, are the jokers permanent? This is one of those examples. So this one gives me a plus 15 multiplier on anything I play. So it's kind of nuts, right? But as a one in four chance, the card is destroyed at the end of the round. Uh, this one's probably worth just because it makes the game so easy for now. But hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. Um, this is actually interesting. Sell this card to disable the current boss blind. No, not that. Run info. Disable the blind. I assume it's this one. Cards played pre previously. I think this... Oh, whatever. I'm just buying this. Buy the banana. It's going to keep her going. Where is it? Next round. Can't find it. Yeah, I know. I know that's the one I just did. But, um... It's probably easier. Oh! Upgrade straight by three levels. So, uh, I have a double tag here. So, this is actually going to be insane. So, look at this. So, I have a... 30 times 4 is a level 1. So, this is going to upgrade straight by three levels. I'm going to skip it. But since I have a double tag, it's going to upgrade it three more times. So, now it's level 7. So, what, what did I say it was? It was 30 times 4 for the straight. Now, it's 210 times 16. <laughs> this is how I won one of my runs with a pair. I had, f I had two double tags, so I got my pair level to like 20. So now any straight I play, I just fucking win, basically. Uh, also, I kind of want this double tag, though. Because I just showed how nuts double tags are. So this is a big blind, but I mean, I should be able to just dominate with a straight, to be honest. To keep it real frank with you. I think I just discard till I get a straight. Two, ace, two, three. I'm actually closer on the bottom side, but like if I go for ace, two, four, like this. Because I only have ace, jack, but this side I have ace, two, four. So it's probably better to just go like this. Ace, two, three, four. I need a five. Another two. Could flush. The thing is, I could flush, yes, but my straight is so. Look at my straight. Look at how much points it gives me. It's so powerful that I should just keep discarding for any straight. Oh, I had Jack 8 9. Oh, I didn't even see that. But I have four discards, so I'm not too worried. Um, Let's just run it back. Ace, two, three, four, five. We need a five. We simply need a five. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Surely not. Uh, actually. <laughs> uh, a, uh, five or jack? Five or jack? Uh, surely not this hard, right? It's, it, they, uh, it can't keep happening, right? What do I, I got? I got two jacks. I got four fives. But I'm only, I'm only flopping one card or discarding one card. Is that even worth it? Or should I just run it for the fives? I gotta think about the odds here. So I got 
Six out of 31 cards. Or... I can't even do the math on this, to be honest. It's probably better to do this. Run it for the fives. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, come on. It's, there's got to be a five in there. <laughs> okay. All right. That's chill. That's all good. I mean, I didn't really want it anyway. That's all good. Um... You know what we're going to do is we're just going to play a shitty hand like this because this next hand is going to be our five. <laughs> oh, come on! What the hell's going on here? Can you give me my fucking five? <laughs> hey, there he is. There he is. Come on, watch these points. There's a fucking heater. This is what I'm looking for. 7,000! No, the banana died! Oh my god, the first fucking try? Are you serious? Bro, I actually got scammed. I didn't get the straight, and then the fucking banana d disintegrated. Dude, that's horrible. So this one I can go $20 in a debt. I don't like this, because I like getting the interest more. Played aces, give 20 chips and 4 mole. I like that, because I'm playing. I'm trying to play straights anyway, so that's good. Rerolls cost $2 less. I don't reroll that much. Maybe I should. Uh, and I don't want to get playing cards, so I think I'm just going to go next round. This one, discard $1. This will get $5, and it'll double because I have a double tag, but I don't really... Oh, I'm going to do this one. Okay. So, this one will give me $10 if I just skip right now, but if I beat the boss, this one will give me 30 if I beat this one. So, let's, let's just play this. We're not going to skip. Um... Now, I gotta remember, aces actually give me goodies. So let's play this side. Let's play the upper side now and get scammed on this street. Nine, eight, nine, ten, jack. I mean, I could look for a jack. Surely, right? I mean, I only need one straight, so I think I just play this. Or, uh, get rid of it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, I have a flush. Is it even enough, though? I don't think so. I'm not going to play it. Yeah, I mean, it's only... It's not that much. Bro, I just need the straights. Come on. And I just got rid of the fucking two that was there. So get rid of the 10. Or 110. I think I get rid of the... No, I got to I gotta get rid of all of these. I got to get rid of the flush, I think. I don't want to play the flush because I need... Actually, I could play it. But it doesn't really matter. Okay, to be fair, if I play a flush here, it's as if I'm playing a discard. I'm just unfortunately getting $1 less. Because all I, all I care about is getting more cards. I got that jack, although I just played the fucking eight. That's sick. Uh, get rid of one jack. I need to get rid of the nine. I mean, what are the... Guys, what are the odds I don't get a queen here, right? Surely there's a queen. Thank you. And there we go. So now I got two tarot cards because I played two straights. So now we can see what these do. You can also play these. Um, well, actually, you mainly play these during the actual thing. But you can see it converts three cards to hearts or clubs. So, like, if I wanted to... I mean, you'll see. But while I'm playing, if I wanted to run a flush, like, I could do that. Uh, plus eight molt if played hand contains a pair. Um... Hmm... I don't really feel like I need planets. Rerolls cost two dollars less, bro. This is like I feel like I'm not getting great jokers here. I mean, I guess I could play this one. Uh, I am gonna skip this round and then play the boss. So this one's probably worth. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't feel the need to play the planets. Um, I just also have to remember that I need to play these or sell a, sell one at least. This is pretty close to a straight already. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, I could just do this. 
and then play both ends, but I don't, it's probably not worth. It seems just easier to go for one side. It doesn't really matter, like, either way I get this is fine. I do wonder what's more likely here, though. Wrong queen. It doesn't. It doesn't matter uh, what queen. It, like, if I get a straight, I win. That's that's the reality. Because my straight is already level seven. I think I go for the higher end, so I actually just get rid of these. Ja okay, well, I got it. I didn't get the ace, but... Or maybe I should play... Should I just... No, I should just discard. You get... There's no punishment for discarding. So I should just play it to try to get another tarot card. Because I already have it. Okay, and got it. So I should probably just sell one of these. Uh, I'm just gonna sell the heart one. And then now when I play this, oh, it gave me a debuff. I didn't even see that. Still dubbed, owned, fraud. I actually didn't even pay attention to what that dude does. He had a royal flush if he kept the king of clubs. Yeah, but there's no point in the royal flush. Look, I just got 40 fucking bucks no matter what. It doesn't matter. This is not... No, this is the full game. Minus four molt per round played. No, that was for this. I'm talking about... It actually debuffed my score on a, on the hand I played. Wait, yeah, royal, royal... Oh, this is broken. Plus 20 molt if played hard contains three or fewer cards. That's interesting. Every played card counts in scoring. Oh, that's kind of nice. If I play a shit hand. Uh, this is actually really good. So I can get more interest. $25 is the maximum. Now it's actually up to 50. So I'm actually going to get more money just by buying that. Uh, increases the rank of two selected cards by one. So I think I should use this probably on like nines. Or I can use it... The, the thing is, I don't want to... I don't want to make it harder for me to make straights. Choose one tarot card. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have 39, unfortunately, but I think it's worth. I like tarot cards, so. Creates two random tarot cards, like. Hands is one into a steel card. Um. I guess I'm not trying to play flushes, so it doesn't matter. I could just convert to clubs and I have a lot more cl Well, no, that doesn't matter then. I should just sell it. Get the extra dollar. And then strength. Increases the rank of two selected cards by one. I was actually hoping to kind of like actually play this. And I can't play this because then I don't get the full amount of it. Well, times 1.5 molt while this card stays in hand. Yeah, these are all kind of shit to be honest. Oh, I'm glad, Andrew. Okay. Increases the rank. I mean, I could just do it on like the... Wait, is this two cards? Up to two. So like, yeah, I could just... I mean, I don't really want to do it on the four, though. Because I want the four to be on the other side of the straight. Like, the seven is fine. I feel like I should just sell this, too. It's just not in a spot for me to use it. Okay, now this is going to create two cards. Let's see. Doubles my money. Max of 20. That's sweet. Converts cards up to spades. Okay. So... I'm actually going to... I'm just going to use this now. Let's get 20 bucks. And I'm going to re-roll. Uh, down to 50. I can probably go lower, but... Create a tarot card if the hand is played with $3 or less. Well, I'm stupid fucking rich, so... Probably not the best. Okay, we're going to do one more and maybe buy one. Earn $3 for each discarded queen. And the rank changes every round. Three dollars, wow. When blind is selected, create two common jokers. Wait. 
when blind is selected when is the the blind is like like when i select play i just get a two jokers that's kind of nutty I mean, I could at least get one. I think I just buy it. And then probably sell them. You know, sell them as I get them. When blind is selected, it creates two common jokers. Yeah, like, I don't... <laughs> okay, that's fine. And then I also have 46 bucks that I'm going to get interest on. A free Mega Celestial pack. Uh, two planet cards. I don't think I need that. I want the Arcana pack, actually. So I select this and I get a joker. Wow. Uh, plus 100 chips, minus 5 chips for every hand played. Okay, so right now it's plus 100. So as I play more. Am I insane? Oh, it decreased my... Dude, that boss decreased my level on one of those. I was like, am I losing my mind? What happened? Boom. Owned. One shot, noob. $9 interest. One tap that fraud. 15 bucks. Gains plus three molt when any booster pack is skipped. Booster pack. All right, uh, is it saying like skipping on this screen? Like this? But it's saying when I don't take them. Uh, plus 80 chips. Plate hand contains a flush. Okay. Uh, enhances one selected card into a glass card. Times two molt. One in four chance to destroy the card. That is interesting. Uh, I actually do not like my tarot cards this time around. I think I should probably get rid of this, to be honest. Uh, that create a tarot card if I play a straight. I'm going to be playing straights. Uh, actually, let's see this. I have money, so... Wait, let's do this. This one makes me use it instantly, by the way. So maybe I just get money. Sometimes you just get free money. Destroys two cards. I could destroy the sixes because I'm not playing those for straights. So it actually creates a higher chance of me to get a straight um, on the upper or lower end. But I just said I was going to sell this card, so maybe not worth. Creates a random Joker card. Enhances one selected card into a lucky card. One in five chance to get a plus 20 molt. One in five, 15 chance to get to win 20 bucks. Um, I'm trying to think of something that like actually creates more value for me. And RNG, I feel like doesn't create value as much as something like a definitive, you know, if I get rid of these sixes, you know, I now only have 50 cards in my deck and my straight from ace, two, three, four, five is much easier to get. Same with the other end because I have less cards. But I'm wondering, like, is this going to make me keep these now? Keep this card. I, I guess I don't have to. I think just less cards in the deck in general is probably better. As long as I keep getting rid of the sixes. So I'd say that. I don't need the random joker. So those sixes are now gone from my deck forever. Um, and also I want to get this one. I'm going to look at this and see if I want to sell one of these. Times two molt loses 0.01. So this is multiplied molt, by the way. This is not a plus two. Like uh, this one says like plus four molt. But this is multiplied. So you usually put this at the end and then it multiplies whatever you have here, which is kind of nuts because my straight is already a 14. So I guarantee a 28 molt. But it does go down a little bit every time I discard a card and that'll go down pretty quick. When blind is selected, destroy Joker to the right and permanently add double its cell value to this molt. Oh, this is great, actually. Hold on. Because I have this. And so if I keep generating, when blind is selected, when blind is selected... Wait, so this is an insane combo. Double its sell value. So this one will sell for two. So this one's going to give me a plus four molt when it destroys. I think I... Get rid of... Oh, this is crazy. 
Let me read this last one, but I think that combo's nuts. When blind is selected, gain plus three hands and lose all discards. Ah, doesn't sound great to me. This one sounds better. Okay. I, I need to get this card. I'm trying to figure out what I get rid of. I think I just sell this right off the bat. Because Molt is better in this situation, I think. Which one sells for more? Yeah, they're the same. They're all the same. Um, Yeah, I'll sell the ice cream, I guess. So we're going to select this. And then now, when the blind is selected, destroy the Joker to the right and permanently add double its sale value to the Molt. So... Oh, 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 I actually should have... Uh, it doesn't matter, because it's going to get destroyed anyway. Um, let's get rid of this one, though. Get rid of this one first. So it's going to... Plate aces give plus 20 chip. This one guarantees me a molt, so let's just do that. So when I play this... It's going to destroy this card. And this one's going to get a plus 4 multiplier. Uh, not right now, but now. I was going to take this, but I don't think I need it. So now it's going to destroy it. Ah! No! I thought it was to the farthest right! No! <laughs> My combo! Oh, no! Fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> I just worked so hard. Oh, god damn it. It said to the right. Yeah, but this is also to the right, you know? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh, fuck. Are you serious? God damn it. I mean, I still have a good run going, but that... I just fucked myself. God damn it! Well, I mean, I got plus four molt, though. That's pretty chill. Game is rigged. I think I just get rid of all five here. Huge. Not enough to one-shot the noob, though. Not enough for that. So I just played the lower side flush, or sorry, straight, and I already have the ace now. So I'm just going to play again for the high side because there should be four queens. And wait, I'm missing. What am I missing? A 10? Oh, I, I already discarded a 10, but it shouldn't be that hard. I have three discards. So simply just get a queen. Uh, I got a queen. Now let's get a 10. Now let's simply get a 10. Papa Riz, my longest subby and my favorite. I'll do the. I'll try to get the royal flesh for that guy. Mook, thank you for the 26 months, bro. Thank you, my man. All right, last discard. I got fucked. All right, we're going to play this high card because we want the 10. Simple. Oh, I played the wrong king. <laughs> Sorry, I got rid of your royal flush. That's on me. Blood strike. No, nah, it doesn't matter. That was, I mean, that was... I could have I could have done it. No, I could have done it there. Free money, 15 bones. Come on now. Double the lowest card to molt. Uh, sell this card to get a free double tag. This is actually really good. Um, oh, I'm trying to think though. I think I get rid of this one first. Because this one is going to be... It's only 8 molt. And this is going to make this one... This one is going to become an 8 molt. Um... So I have to sell this card. But this one destroys it. So this does not work as I think it does. So I need to sell it now. Because I'm not... If I destroy it, I'm not selling it. So I'm going to read everything literally now. Uh, I'm going to buy this. Uh, look at the planet car. Let's see what this is. Maybe I can get another straight upgrade. Yep, there it is. Okay, we got that uh, upgrade back. So this is another plus two molt. Back to level seven. Because we got downgraded. Uh, I think I can reroll here. No, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should. Standard playing card. Uh, we can do this because I want to be around 50. 
Creates a tarot card when discarded. Um, and if it's played, I get three dollars if the or three dollars if the card is held in the end of the round. Gold cards are kind of I don't like them, and I don't need money, so that's fine. Um, a multiplier with a four, that's cool. I could take it. A uh, multiplier is always nice, but it is a four. I could also just skip. I think I'm just gonna skip. If it's like an ace or king, like I would take it, but I don't think I'm gonna roll. I'm just gonna go into the next one. All heart cards are debuffed. That's fine by me. I don't need it. What's a tarot card? These are tarot cards up here. So I just destroyed my popcorn, but now I have an eight molt. Um, I was saying heart cards are fine to be debuffed because I just play straights anyway, but then I realized, I mean, I should still be fine. I think if I just play two straights, I'll be good. Uh, I'm not going to, ah, what do I have here? Should I just play for a 10? Cause all I need is in like this side, I need an ace 10 this side. Okay. The low side is bad. I think the 10 is the best play. 10. Yeah. If I just do this, which looks kind of odd, maybe I should keep the king. Let's see what we get with the first discard. Ace. Still need the 10. So let's play for the 10 here. Um, I think, do I get rid of the 9? I think I just get rid of the 9. I just, I just full roll for the 10. Well, I've done that plenty of times and I've kind of fucked myself, to be honest. But I do need the 10 no matter what. So should I do it like this? King, like I could go like this, or I mean, what's the, but then what's the difference in doing this? It's just the same thing. Yeah, I think I should do this. Okay, I got the H again. Hmm. I could play a flush here. Make these into spades, but then I lose my aces. I, I mean, I lose my straight potential. So it's probably not worth. Um, I should keep this four because I only have one four left. This is kind of tough now. I think I should get rid of the pairs. I think, I mean, I have to just play for straights though. But now I'm discarding like my jacks, like my jacks and kings, which is bad. Don't need the four. Um, I might need it though, because I don't know if I get times two mole. I think I, I think I have to use this. Yeah, if I do this, I'll be okay as long as I get this ten. As long as right here I get this 10, or else the run's over. <laughs> as long as after I play these cards, I get a 10, we'll be good. Okay, as long as on this try right here, I get a 10. With 23 cards left and four 10s left, we'll be good. There she is. Come on now. Come on, baby. So what is that? I mean, 210 times 16. I can't do that math, to be honest. I mean, I'm going to get fi like 50. So it's 260 times 16. Uh, 260. It's 25. It's like 3K. And then with a 10 molt, 18 molt. Uh, yeah, I think I need to use this. I oh, I don't want to use this glass card on the 10. It kind of sucks, but... Hopefully it doesn't break. Uh, this will give me a 10 multi, and then I use an ace, so... Times 2? What, I got 16k? Mm. I guess it was probably needed. And the 10 broke, unfortunately. So now it's going to be harder to get those straights with the 10s. If I'm looking for a 10, it's going to be tough. 
All cards and packs are 25% off. Investment. Yeah, my, my level... This is why I keep not playing straight flushes or going for them at all. If I play a straight, I get 210 points times 16 as a base. If I play a straight flush, I get 100 times 8. So you can already see the maths, right? This is 1600, or this is a 3200 base. And this one is um, 800 base. I'd rather have the 3200 base score rather than the 800 base score because I've leveled this one up uh, six times. There's a straight flush right here. Uh, I actually should... I should take both these planets. Why do I get doubles money? I'm looking for Saturn. Three of a kind? Sure. Might as well use that, I guess. And then take the planet again. Saturn! Another straight level up, so now I get a higher multi on that one. Nice, nice, nice. So now my base is even better. Uh, I need to make sure that I'm going to do this one. Played aces, because I don't think I need that as much. But I'm probably not even going to have that over there, because I'm going to reroll. Earned $3 for each. Which one sells for more? Probably this one. Times one mole for each empty joker slot. Oh, that's... Wait, currently one. I mean, I'm just going to buy it and then destroy it. What's the sale value? Ooh! Plus six multi. I actually, I like this one. Ceremonial dagger is sick. All right, spades and doubles my money. Is it is, is it worth it to double my money now for two extra interest? Probably. All right, I can skip by the way. Rerolls and the next shop start at zero dollars. Doubles my money, max forty. Okay, I could just be giga rich if I if I skip this one. No repeat hand types this round. Oh shit, I can only play one straight. Okay. So let's play this. Nine, eight, seven. Wait, seven, six, five. Oh, I'm fighting for the ten, bro. But I can also just fight for the six. What do I need? I need 10? 10, 10 jack queen on this side? Yeah, okay. Uh, keep the two? No, I think I just play for this middle straight here. I think I got it. Seven, six, five. I did, yeah. Nine point nine K for a middle straight, that's good to know. Uh, three, two, three, four, five. Uh, just uh, power roll for the ace. I got three of them. Two, three, four, five. I could also. I'm also playing for a six, I guess. So that that works. So yeah, this is the best uh, way to do this, I think. There's the ace. Another straight, and we're good. Also gonna move this over here. <coughs> Big money. Um, create a planet card if played hand contains two or more eights. That's interesting. Let's destroy it. <laughs> uh, one playing card. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. What we. I mean, we have a lot of monies, and we're gonna get a lot more. So let's see. Like an ace creates a planet card if this card is held. Um, plus fifty chips. I mean, it's another eight, but I mean that is pretty. Uh, that is pretty sick. But I don't think I'm playing many eights, to be honest. Wild card, I don't need flushes, so I think I just play the ace because I've been looking for a lot of aces. And ace is just a great card to have at all times, so I think I select that. Take that. Hey, Mankey, thank you for the 42 months! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Uh, let's check the playing cards again. Uh, there's a jack, some... Wow, three nine of hearts. Um, Queen, jack... 10 shapes of planet card. Uh, one sec. All right. Um, I think I want to show Gigi. In her bed. Look how cozy she looks. We move chat. Oh, look how cozy she looks. Uh, she's so cozy. She's so cozy. <laughs> Why is her head bigger than your head? I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. 
Look at Bubby. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> She's so freaking cute. All right. Walking back in. This game's so sick. It's so good. The full release is so sick. It's so cool. Yeah. Oh, big stretchies. Pick her up and show her. No. Why? I don't want to pick her up. Oh, I'm trying to game. I'm locking in. You're locking in? Yeah. Uh, I had a, I had a deck that would, if I played it correctly, there's one where it changes the suit, and if you play a hand with that suit, it multiplies it by, like, 25 or something like that. Yeah. And I had a... And the combination of my jokers, if I played one hand correctly with that suit, I got a hundred thousand tips. I had I had this crazy thing where this this dagger just oh, you can't even see. This dagger destroys the Joker card to the right, and then I had a Joker card that created a Joker card every time. And then I fucked it up and I immediately destroyed the Joker that destroys or that creates jokers. <laughs> But it's fine because I'm giga rich. I got sixty four dollars, and I'm, and I'm about I'm about to be even more rich because I got big monies. Okay, do I need this jack? Creates a play a card if the card is held. No, I don't need this. I don't. That's uh, no. I'm just gonna skip. I wasted three bucks, but whatever. Uh, I can reroll once. I think maybe twice. What is this? Played face cards get plus four molt when scored. I'll plus this holographic. Okay, I think I just take that no matter what, because. Yeah, um, and also that just gets a plus 10 molt no matter what. I'm trying to think, this is probably good to keep. This one's okay. This one doesn't sell for that much. I think I still get rid of this one first. Hmm. This one's decent. I need a multiplier, though. Plus 20 chips. Devil's the lowest card. I mean, the minimum I get on this one is four. Four multi. This one gives me four if I play an ace. So I think I actually just sell this one. And then buy this. Do this. And then it destroys the eight ball. What's up, Matt? How you doing, bro? Uh, increases the rank. Okay, so if I find nines, I should upgrade them. Okay, so then we're going to go next round. And we're going to skip this because it's going to double my money. 40, but it's going to do it twice. So I'm going to get 80 bucks. Hey, big money, let's fucking go! Big money, big money. So, this one kind of worries me. Because, okay, we have this now, so I actually should feel a lot better. But I cannot play a repeat hand. So I can't play a straight more than once, which means I should play ace through ten straight as the one time I get to play it. And I almost have it already. Uh, I also have the nines here. So I think I'm going to upgrade these right here. And then discard them. I feel like I should only do one though. To be real with you. Just to get that 10 back. So let's do that. Just one. Upgrade the 7 because I'm missing a 10 and I'm playing for straight. So I want ace through 10 straights the most. So I'm trying to get the 9 up to a 10. I'm just trying to get 10s, basically. And then this one's spades. Okay, so... Um, I can't play a straight more than one, so it's worth it to get rid of the king. And we just play for the jack and ace here. We really hope that it hits. Okay, that is interesting. So all my kings have been played. Again, can only play this once. I actually think I might get fucked here. Does it, a king does upgrade to an ace, yeah. And an ace upgrades to a two. I don't know if you really call it an upgrade, though. Alright. Um, I mean, what's this going to be? Face cards? Like, if I play ace through ten, right? I'm going to get all face cards. I'm going to get 12, 22. I'm going to get a 22 multi from that. Plus 18 here. So I'm going to get a 40 multi. 44 if it's the lowest card. So a 44 multi with an 18. So 52, 62, 62 multi times, it's like 300. That should be 15K. So, I mean, it might not even get me enough to make it through, depending on if I have a two here. So I think, I mean, I have to, I have to force it. 
Got the jack. We need the ace. I really want to keep these, but again, I can't play it straight twice. Okay, we got the ace. And we have a face card, which is nice. So we have this straight. My math, I think, uh, in my head, it was like 18. Actually, it's going to be a lot higher because this is a nine. I did the math based off of having a two here. So this is actually might be enough. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, everybody. I mean, that's just how it's done. That was huge, yeah. I could only play one straight that time. Uh, earn $5 if three or more face cards are discarded. Uh, I could just buy that just to nuke it. But I think the players, with 150 bucks, I think I reroll. Permanently gain plus one hand. That's good. I buy it instantly. I think I reroll to find a more expensive one and then potentially just dagger it. Uh... Tarot cards uh, creates a random joker. Let's do this first. Wait, actually, uh, this one gives me a selection of tarot cards. Let's do this. What are these? Gives a total. See, this is why I want to do it for shit like this. So I can get nine, probably nine bucks. Enhances one into a glass card. Creates up to two random tarot cards. Um, yeah, I think I do. Uh, I can sell. sell this let's use this get the joker what do i get oh i got that one every played card counts in scoring which is kind of cool sells for one though um which isn't great i think i just want to buy the more expensive jokers and then this one's gonna just give me money so i'm basically just gonna get my money back for the pack i don't think i want to should i create two random tarot cards yeah give me another chance at something molt cards that's really good and a steel card uh is okay i can i can get a better score by using that once uh planet cards buy uh saturn again for the straight i should probably upgrade other hands but at this point i'm so fucking locked in okay uh sure it's two dollars let's buy and use it <laughs> high card i do play those sometimes so okay this is only worth three bucks so i'm gonna reroll Adds the number of times poker hand has been played to molt. 10? So I get a 10 molt on this one. 10 molt guaranteed. I think that's better than raised fist. I think I sell this. And as I as I play, it gets stronger. So this is gonna nuke raised fist. And it's very good because I can just keep playing. Just gonna keep using these, I guess. I have a shit ton of money and I can't make interest on them. Uh, when blind is selected, gain plus three hands and lose all discards. I don't like that. Earn $4 at the end of the round. Don't like that. Creates the last... Uh... The Fool. I'm going to sell this card and then just buy the Fool. And reroll one more time, I think. One free reroll per shop. Gain uh, 0.1 times 0.1 molt per planet card used. So I've used quite a bit. Uh, but it's times 0.1 molt. So it's like not even great. This is actually negative. Well, it's not negative now, but this could possibly. Well, I guess it. No, I couldn't. I'm dumb. But. Wait, times one. Yeah. It could be negative. No? Am I insane to think that? Because it's not adding the molt, it's just multiplying it. So if I had 100 molt and it was giving me 0.1, it could just be 10. It says gains. Ah, it does. Okay, that is that does mean addition. So then I basically just double my molt. Wait, no, 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 no. It gains 0.1 molt per planet card used, but currently the molt is times one. So that means my molt stays exactly the same, but if it was times 0.1, it would actually be negative, right? So if you had one, it would be 1.1. 1 .1. 
that, jo uh, that Joker only considers playing cards on his purchase onwards. Okay, so it does add to it. It's not just multiplying it. I think it means once you buy it, each card will increase molt. You'll only see gains in the future. Nothing happens right now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, 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 yeah. So it, it was never, it's never possible to be 0.1. I gotcha. So right now it's just base. I thought I used 10 planet cards, which, which is believable. I use quite a bit. Um, I don't want to roll for 10. I think 10's a bit much. I think $10 could be used elsewhere, so let's just keep running. And yeah, we're going to get rid of raised fist here. It's going to increase this molt by 4 again. Gives a free Mega Standard Pack, which gives two playing cards. This one gives me hand size for next round. First hand is drawn face down. That one's kind of tough. Two playing cards. Well, that's what I was asking, Code. I don't know if the multipliers are additive. Because, like... If you have 100 and you multiply it by 0.5, you get 50. Right? So that's what I was wondering if it's ever, like, 0.1. But if you have 100 and you multiply it by 0.5, then you get 50. But I was wondering, does it add it? Like, is it just straight multiplication? Or is it multiplying and then adding it to your base? That's what I was wondering. That's what I meant by gains. No, no, no. It was saying it gains times 0.1 every time you play a planet card. It wasn't saying that it gains your molt every time you multiply it. The context was different. It's just saying it goes up. But it doesn't say it adds to it. I think I just played this one. And this is going to slice this card. Boom. I think I should play more to get this molt up, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought I, I thought I just got a king for some reason. It's actually getting kind of scary because I'm not like one-shotting dudes. 20k. It might be enough with this guy actually, because it times 11 plus 11. I mean. Yeah, this multiplier is kind of insane, to be honest. I think I just always buy the planet cards, to be honest. Uh, plus one molt per tarot card uses run. This is a plus eight. Uh, this would be a buy and boom type thing. I don't feel like I need this anymore, to be honest. I haven't really used many of the tarot cards. So right now, this one's on the chopping block. Creates one of two Joker cards, or I can choose one of two. Let's just see what it is. Oh, it's a rare. This will sell for a lot. If first hand of round has only one card, add a permanent copy to deck and draw it to hand. If the first hand of the round is only... So if I just play one card, I just copy it. That's interesting. So I can just copy a bunch of aces. But I do waste a hand every time. But it would be pretty nice to have that. I think I should grab it. Also, mainly because it should sell for like three. Yeah. And so this at least gives me a six multi of anything. But I do think I get rid of this first. Yeah, Hobo Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, McGowan, I saw Hobo Joker, but I already had like 60 bucks and I didn't just want to nuke my earnings, you know? But this guy, yeah, this guy's good. Uh, I can see a tarot card. The thing that's interesting, I have a fool, so if I get a nice tarot card here, like, uh, creates a random Joker card, spades, max 10, like. It only sells for one, so I think if I'm going to get rid of it, I think I sell it now. Create a random Joker card. <laughs> I got Scholar again, but this... Oh, it still sells for one. Uh, I will probably also sell this and just buy one that sells for more. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, when blind is... I got my fucking Riff Raff back, but I don't think it's necessary now, because I need multipliers. 
Okay, I think, well, I sell this. I think I do buy this, sell it, get the double tag. Um, I can destroy this, actually, and I should buy this. Ooh, almost sold that. So now I'll do this correctly. And this is going to destroy this, give me six multiplier. This one's going to give me two random jokers. I'm thinking I should reroll, though. Uh, my molts are actually decent. Plus 15 molt when zero discards remaining. Plus 100 chips if played, hand contains a straight. Uh, that is instantly giving me 2,000 added to my score. Minimum. And realistically, it actually adds... Uh, what's my molt? It's like 24, 34. 34, I mean 44 guaranteed, right? Even if I don't play face cards. So it's actually adding 4,400 instantly. No, it would be more because of the default. 44, it would be 6,400. Which is pretty fucking nuts. Sixty four hundred guaranteed. That is quite a bit, I'm gonna be honest. And I think I need it. I don't need it now, but I think I will need it. Because that is quite a bit. Three discards. I think I. I think I play like this. Wow, I just got like all of them. What do I have most of? I got some jacks. I don't have many sixes. I don't know. I think I just play this. I just want to see how many points this gives me as well. Uh, I think I should be able to one shot with this thing. Yeah, so I'm getting, for the face card straight, I get 34k. Times three molts, one in a thousand chances card is destroyed at the end of the round? One in a thousand? That's not bad at all. Okay, bro, I'm never gonna hit that, I got good luck. Am I reading this wrong? One in one thousand chances card is destroyed at the end of round. That's not... Does this number change or something? Why is that's like the best card in the game? Oh, here we go. Um, oh fuck. I should have used Empress. This kind of sucks But oh, I must have room. Oh fuck Oh Okay, uh, I wanted to ah, shit. I mean I can get three planet cards For very cheap. So let's just do this So we're gonna buy and use this. It's not gonna f fit Wait. Spectral card. Oh, wait, wait, let's check this out first. I love spectral cards. Spectral cards are sick. Add one red seal to one selected card. Creates a random rare joker. Sets money to zero. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can just buy $102 for a rare joker. Uh, and then the re-trigger on a queen. Sure, that's fine. It just, it just gives me extra coins, extra points. So just add the red seal. It's no big deal. Uh, planet card. Let's check it out. Give me a Saturn. Uh, straight flush, sure. Even though I just do not go for those at all. I feel like the times three molt is pretty fucking ridiculous. Um, I can also just like let me let me buy and use this. I'm gonna get one. I got Pluto. That's oh wait, I gotta yeah, fuck it, use it. I'm not gonna use the fool though, because the fool is just gonna use it on Pluto. Uh, I'm gonna buy this. Because times three is ridiculous. Because my multiplier is like 60. 
sometimes more i don't know i haven't been looking to be honest so if i do this unfortunately so this is how this has to work by the way so if i do it like this this card instantly gets destroyed but i need the card uh but if i do it like i need this on the as far right side as possible um but i can't have it on the right side of this one or else i'll just get boomed so it's a times three multiplier on this one and this one but not on this one which is my big multiplier so it's still good times three multiplier is insane but it won't times three the 28 which kind of sucks but it's still it's still great Ooh. um 1.5 times 1.5 molt loses 0.01 molt per card discarded i actually discard quite a bit maybe time to trade out the dagger but the dagger gives me a 28 multiplier though i don't think i'm gonna get anything that's better than a 28 multiplier right like the only thing i can think of is like this and then buy no i can't buy it because it's not yeah i don't have enough slots not with that attitude true Times two molt. Like, I could have it go like this, and if I play the face card straight, it'd be like 22 multiplier plus 13 or something. Uh, it's 12. Actually, it'd be 13 because I think it adds one. So it'd be like 35 times three times two. But I'm trying to, like, do the math, but also not be cringe and do all the math. You know what I mean? Also, it's, uh, it's just, it's polychrome, so it's so good. I feel like the polychrome is just more worth, to be honest. So I think I actually just sell this. Polychrome times 1.5 is ridiculous. So it's like, this is going to give me a... Uh, what did I say? Like 35 molt times 3 times... Uh, or sorry, times 2 times 1.5 times 3. Plus 28. Like, that's the order it's going to go. 35 times 3. Sorry, I just did it wrong again. 35 times 1.5 times 1... Or times 2 times 3 plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucking nuts. No, let's see how much let's see how much it gives me. First hand is drawn face down. Okay, so I think the way I play this is I sort it by rank, and then I just get rid of the lowest five. Ace King. Uh ten. I get rid of one ace, get rid of these. And I think I just get rid of one of these, potentially. Because I need to see. No, I just need to see both of them, so I didn't get rid of both, to be honest. And then I have to like hyper roll for the Jack Queen. So now I need a Queen. Erm. Um. Erm. Um. Thank God I got that high card upgrade. The high card gave me 6k, bro. I mean, come on. It's that easy, no? Inside straight draw can't possibly fail five times in a row. There it is. There it is. Let's see how much this gives me. All right. So this is the... Uh, oh, this is a retrigger too. I kind of hope it wasn't there so I could just see how much it is. But, I mean, this should be a fuck ton. Like, let's just see. Right? Straight. I'm getting insane multis. Boom, 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 reapplied, boom, 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 boom. Whoa, what the fuck? How much was it? Was that like 150k? Oh my god! Holy shit! The fuck was that? That was ridiculous. Give me another Saturn for the boys. Bro, 150k, come on. More planet cards? Give me that. 
Oh, I say Saturn? Yeah, give me that straight. Come on, give me that! Uh, what is this? Tar I don't really want tarot cards, to be honest. I What I need is a, a, a dark joker. The dark joker makes it so you can hold six or seven or eight, however many dark jokers you have. Times one mole for each empty joker slot? Yeah, I'm not doing that. One, two chance to create a tarot card when any booster pack is open? That's kind of cool. Gives total sell value. This is uh, free money, as they say. Eight ball popcorn. Uh, one more roll. Uh, uh, again, more free money, as they say. Should I just use the fool? I don't even know. Probably not. I can use it at any time. Okay, so I also have a double uh, thing here. So it gives $1 per played hand this run. This is the same thing here. Uh, I wonder if I just take that. Like, I don't really need money. I'll take it. <laughs> Big money, and then we'll play this. I, I mean, I can just take more money, to be honest. Discards two random cards per hand played. Just take more money. Let's just skip. And then we're going to go here. We already know how much we can get for a face card uh, straight. He's going to lower a bit. Let's get the re-pop. Re Unfortunately, this multi will go down every time that I'm doing this. Uh, but hopefully, with the money we just got, we can find another... Um another multiplying type card like this, but it has the polychrome, which is very, very good. I mean, it's just ridiculous. 107, I mean, that was more. Uh, useful now, are you saying that for something that's not a straight? Oh, that's actually a good point. Um, I could have done that. But not necessary. Rerolls cost two dollars less. That's kind of nice. I mean, seven dollars now. I reroll a lot now, so two dollars less is actually kind of huge uh, each time. Spectral cards are always nice. Let's see if we got a cool one. Create a random copy of a r wait. Create a copy of a random Joker destroys all of other Jokers. Oh fuck, that could have been crazy. But can't can't have it destroy my Jokers. Add a blue seal. Creates planet card if this card is held. Um. Sure. I mean, I'll be holding ace. I'll end a round. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I just add it. Whatever. If by some miracle I'm just holding an ace, then sure. Or I can do it on the four. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm more likely to hold a four than an ace. Like, an ace I'm going to... Well, at the end of a round. Maybe I get two aces. Who knows? Let's just, yeah, I'll, always, I'll hold aces in my hand a lot more. Um... Uh, two, two of four spectral cards. Let's see. Add a red seal, add a purple seal, add negative to a random joker, minus one hand size. So this is what I was saying. So I can get another joker and keep adding to my sacrificial dagger, but I'm going to get minus one hand size. So I'm going to only get seven cards every time. So I'm wondering if that's worth it. Like I'm already getting 150k and I'm going to have to actually discard more. That's the thing. Like, hand size is so important. Convert all cards in hand to a single random suit. Think of Molt. I, I feel like I'm just... I'm just cursed. Which one is this going to give it to, by the way? I'm just going to fucking do it. Yeah, I mean, these ones suck. I could skip... Oh, I could actually choose two. And a retrigger. Retrigger on a king is good. Converts all cards to a random single suit. Yeah, I mean, this is just worth. What does it do? Negative to a random, yeah. So I got it on this one. Um, And now I can hold another Joker. And I will probably just start... Oh, what is this? Let's do this. One in four chance to add... Actually, let's do just a full on this. Come on. 50% chance to add foil, holographic, or polychrome. Give me polychrome. On one of these. Give me polychrome. 
Oh, shit. Uh, Polycarp. Ah, come on. Plus 12 mole if played hand contains a straight. I mean. I mean. I mean. I mean, come on, no? Fellas, fellas, fellas. It's just right there, no? Plus 12 times 1.5 times 1.66 times 3. I think I just go. Anything for the molt? Plus 50 chips. Uh, 20 mole if hand contains 4 of a kind. 8 mole if hand contains a pair. One more. Plus two molt, played hand, uh, yada yada, bullshit. Okay, one more. If Joker, or this Joker gains point f times 0.5 molt for each card sold. But it resets when the boss blind is defeated. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, realistically, I'm at the end. Oh, this is just the final one? I didn't realize I was on 8 of 8. Oh, shit. I thought there was more. Gains plus 10 chips if hand, uh, played hand contains a straight currently. Oh, okay. That's like over time, I guess. I mean, I'm thinking about this one. Like, realistically... It don't matter. I think I just, I think I just have it, to be honest. Oh, and now I'm on... Oh, what the fuck? Very large blind. Yeah, no shit. Plus three hand size next round. Wait, I think I just double skip here. Double skip. Because that means I should get the hand size, no? And I'm just going to get money here. And I just get hand size here. Very large black. That's honestly probably like the best outcome. I'm actually going to play the five here. Uh, keep the 10. We're just going to play it right off rip. Play this straight. Is this enough? There's no way, right? Nah, that's not enough. 150k? I mean, that's too easy. I mean, that's too easy. The first run? Are you serious? It's too easy. They can't be giving me that. Ah, fellas, fellas. The Bellatro go. <laughs> You aced literally first try. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. What is end? I want to see that. Let's go. Let's keep going. All right. I got you, Scripps. Flush. I got to keep seeing all these Joker cards while I can, you know? Playing cards can be purchased from the shop. Uh, that's kind of cool, but this only gives me two cards, which kind of sucks. So I don't think it's worth it. Three of a kind, straight flush. Uh, tarot card. Let's see if I can get like a fool or something. Two planet, planet cards. Creates a random joker. I mean, my jokers are full, so I can't really do random. Mercury and Pluto. I had, um, somehow I got three dark. What is this? Dark? No, negative. Three negative jokers in one of the, um, one of the demo runs. Earn an extra dollar of interest for every five dollars you have at the end of round. What the fuck? Bro, I would just be stupid rich. I mean, I already am though. It's like, do I even need that? No. If it was negative, oh my god, imagine. Played aces, times one mole for each, empty joker slot. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to up the animation speed. Or whatever. Was that 0.5? Yeah, right. Give me that. Give me that four times speed. Play this game. Play this game for real. Uh, I can just buy this.
If poker hand is a straight flush, create a spectral card. That's great, but uh, I don't really do straight flushes, to be honest. Increases rank of two cards by one. Buy it. Four of a kind. Nah, we're good. Buy that, why not? Is that a little black bean? Is that a jelly bean? Plus five hand size reduces by one every round. That's interesting. Alright, last, last reroll. Uh, each played card with club suit gives times. Oh, fuck. That's kind of nuts. It just changes the suit at the end of the round. At the, wait, at the end of a round, not at the end of a hand, at the end of a round. So you can go into the into the 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 round knowing what you're looking for. I mean, times 1.5 is kind of crazy. What if I just, what if I just get rid of dagger at this point? Because the thing is, dagger adds twenty eight, but I'm already at like a hundred, so I'm just gonna add like fifty. I think I just get rid of dagger and just put it at the, or yeah, put it at the end. Earn one dollar for each nine in your full deck at the end of a round. Currently three dollars. That's kind of cool. And just one card into a steel card. All right, let's just go to the next round. Gives a free mega standard pack. Two playing cards. Shop has a polychrome. Oh, let's do. Uh, we're gonna skip that one. Uh, what is this? Is this spades? Club. There's a club. Because I'm wondering, I'm thinking like this ramen is going to become almost useless. And it's just going to be a polychrome. Like eventually I'm going to have to get rid of it. Okay, Jack. Oh, wait, I need that one. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, this is gonna be fucking nuts with the multi. Oh, it's not multiplying at the end. Whoa! 1200 molt! I saw that shit. Oh, yeah, this is too fast for me, though. One playing card. An ace? Ace always nice. Honestly, any face card is pretty nice. What do I have? Do I have, uh, I have five aces. Four, 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 four. Okay. I could add a king. King or queen, I think, is better. I don't know. I feel like it's better than um having another ace. Ace goes both ways, but if I already have five aces, I feel like trying to get that face card straight every time is just much better. Let's see what this is. Now I can actually use these. Enhances two selected cards to bonus cards. So these give 30 extra chips. Um, what does this one do? Upgrades the cards? Uh, I can do the 8 and 7? Do I want to do that? I don't know. I think I use this. Get those going. Uh, what do I have here? 7s. I only have two sixes. Sevens. 7s, yeah. Let's upgrade the seven, I think. And we're going to create two random tarot cards. I get bonus cards again. Times three molt if played. Poker hand has already been played this round. Uh, that I mean, that could be good. But. I mean, I am one shotting. For the most part. Um
That'd be good if you didn't one shot with a straight. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think for later on, so because if these are like, what did I just? Get? I just got like 300k, right? If these are 220, next round's bound to be 300k, like easily, right? Like look at the gaps: 110, 165, 220. Like they're going up by like 40, 50k. So it's gonna be like 280, 350, shit like that. So I'm like, do I need that? Should I just get it for to play two straights? But then what do I get rid of? Time stream molt is insane. Like, is it better than this? Like, this will give me less chance to one shot, but this gives me more chance to win the round. Can't get rid of ramen? That's actually a good point, yeah. Yeah, I, I actually think you're right. So times three molt. This one actually surprisingly was multiplying before it got to the end, which is interesting. But let's get this times three molt on the end, both of them. Um, Rerolling straight flusher. What is that? Only oh, cool. Two chips for each remaining card in your deck. So I got 51. <coughs> if you just had a full deck. Uh, let's go again. Full house, why not? Has one still value. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Uh, played face cards. I have a one, two chance to get $2. Okay, I'm just going to go next round. I am skipping this one to get the polychrome in the shop. And then we're going to do this one. So we might not be able to one shot cards. What did it say? Cards drawn face down after each hand played. Okay. What is better? 30 extra bonus chips or a re-trigger? Uh, definitely the... Uh, actually, this one gives me a mole. I don't know. Fuck. Who cares? God damn. What is this? Uh, a club? Again? Uh, that's a full house, but that's not what I'm looking for exactly. Uh, I kind of need an ace here. Should be unfortunate if I didn't get one. But it'll still be fine. What's up, Gigi? Yeah, let's go. All right, is this a one shot? So this one won't trigger. 140k. Oh, dude. <laughs> you just came in here and farted. <laughs> Gross. Oh. Okay, I actually didn't think about this because now I mean, I'm just going to play. Ah, oh, I should keep that one, I guess. Oh, I just realized I'm now in an infinite loop of playing shitty hands. I think I just fucked myself. Yeah, yeah this might be GG now. I thought I just accidentally nailed something. Like the straight I'm about to hit. Oh, it's actually kind of close. Like the straight I'm about to hit. Actually, it's a bottom side straight. <laughs> don't know why I thought about that. So silly. No! Oh, that was so fucking close, bro! That is GG now. I got fucked by the the boss thing, whatever. Okay, anyway, we dubbed.